Question five, scientists. Earth's average annual temperature has increased by about 0.5 degrees Celsius over the last century. This warming is primarily the result of the buildup of minor gases in the atmosphere blocking the outward flow of heat from the planet. All right, so argument or facts. We have an argument. This scientist is trying to explain something to us, and his conclusion is that this warming is primarily the result of the buildup of minor gases in the atmosphere blocking the outward flow of heat from the planet. So that's the scientist's conclusion or hypothesis. And you notice this is a cause and effect argument. There's something that this scientist is trying to explain to us. There is an observed effect. And what is that observed effect? It is that the Earth's average annual temperature has increased by about 0 0.5 degrees Celsius over the last century. And what is the scientist's proposed explanation for this observed effect of the Earth's warming? It is the buildup of minor gases. So his proposed cause is this buildup of minor gases that are blocking the outward flow of heat from the planet. So now that we have a clear understanding of this passage, let's proceed to the question stem. Which of the following, if true, would count as evidence against? The scientist's explanation of the Earth's warming, you notice evidence against. This is a weakening question, asking us to weaken this scientist's explanation of the Earth's warming. So let's take a look at A. Only some of the minor gases whose presence in the atmosphere allegedly resulted in the phenomenon described by the scientists were produced by industrial pollution. Okay, that is completely irrelevant. This argument is not about where these minor gases are coming from. So A would be eliminated. Moving to B. Most of the warming occurred before 1940. While most of the buildup of minor gases in the atmosphere occurred after 1940, so what B is telling us on this timeline that we have, let's put 1940. Prior to 1940, we had most of the warming. After 1940, we had most of the minor gas buildup. So does that weaken this argument? And it does because it shows that our observed effect, the warming, was present without this proposed cause of the buildup of minor gases. Because again, most of the warming occurred before the 1940s, while most of the buildup of minor gases occurred after the 1940s. So B does weaken by showing effect without cause. And we know that's one of the three ways to weaken a cause and effect argument, so B would be the correct answer. But again, let's make sure, because C is a very popular answer choice among students. C tells us, over the last century, Earth received slightly more solar radiation in certain years than it did in others. And a lot of students pick C because the test makers are trying to trick you into thinking that C is an alternate cause. But is it really an alternate cause? We know alternate cause is another way to weaken a cause and effect argument. But if you notice, C doesn't tell us that over the last century, Earth received slightly more solar radiation than the previous century. It says in certain years than it did in other years. So you notice it is not an alternate cause because C is not comparing this past century to the century before it. It's comparing certain years within this last century with other years within this last century. So it's not an alternate cause because our observed effect was that the Earth's average annual temperature, the average, Increase. So even though we had slightly more radiation 
in certain years than in others, still on average, there was a temperature increase of 0 0.5 degrees Celsius, so C would be eliminated. It's a trap answer. They're trying to trick you into thinking that that is an alternate cause. And if it's said over the last century, Earth received slightly more solar radiation than it did in the previous century, that would be an alternate cause, and it would have been the correct answer. Checking D, volcanic dust and other particles in the atmosphere reflect much of the sun's radiation back into space before it can reach Earth's surface. Okay, great. So what? That does nothing to our argument here. So D would be out. E, the accumulation of minor gases in the atmosphere has been greater over the last century than at any other time in Earth's history. And you notice E actually strengthens this argument by showing that this cause has been most pronounced in this past century than at any other time in Earth's history, so clearly strengthens the argument. But again, we are trying to weaken, so E would be eliminated. Again, remember that C was not an alternate cause. Trap answer choice, B again the correct answer because it shows effect without cause.